nation, talk, nation, talk, nation, salute. Hey, fight week is over. Fight week in his head. Tiafimo Lopez, Vasily Lomachenko. The fight is on. The fight is set. The weighing is done. Now I've been hearing a lot of mixed opinions about quote unquote the weigh-in. Some people was talking about um, T.O. looks a little bit nervous and Vasily Lomachenko like he looks like you know what I'm saying like he's ready to eat him alive and all this kind of kind of stuff. Check this out. I ain't see that. You know what I'm saying? From what I seen as far as T.O. let me speak on T.O. first man. Um, and I'm not just saying this because I'm picking him to win in 10. But from what I saw, I mean, T will look ready, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, he looks like he's ready to go in there and fight. You know what I'm saying? Like his pop said, AKA coach, um, he ain't him because he hasn't been sparring. You know what I'm saying? I guess coming up to the end of the fight, you know what I mean? You want to rest, get everything right. Um, so he ain't been hitting nothing. And like his pop said, man, he's ready to hit something. You know what I mean? So I think what people see and maybe misunderstood is, anticipation you know what i'm saying like don't confuse anticipation anticipating the moment getting in that ring and basically not only performing but doing everything you said you was going to do you know what i'm saying i'm looking forward to seeing it you know what i mean i don't think that it's going to be like a nicholas walter situation or a regan Dow situation like he's worn in he's going to basically complex the ball so much that he makes him quit and nah I don't think it's going to be no low mas chinko situation in this fight tomorrow. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a competitive fight. But as I said, go back and watch the previous video that I did on a walkthrough about the upcoming fight. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share these videos on whatever your social platform. But moving on, like I said, man, it's going to be a good fight. Because if you can break the code, of Vasily Lomachenko's footwork, that is it. Because a fighter like Tiafimo offensively is capable of not only um, hurting Lomachenko, stopping Lomachenko, and lock, knocking out Lomachenko, excuse me, but the only factor that puts Loma above Tio is the factor of his footwork and we're not going to see if Tio has what it takes to give you the fight let alone break the code of the footwork until they fight and the Tio said itself he has good footwork we're going to have to see that because in previous fights um he's not guys out he looked he looked good doing it but as far as mobility and as far as movement he, didn't, he never faced anybody like Loma. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious to see how he's going to look moving forward going into that fight. Because if you can break the code of Lomachenko's footwork, that's it. That's it. Because if you are an offensive fighter and you can basically bring your legs up to your hand level, that's it. That's the key to beating Lomachenko. But nobody that he has faced has been able to do that. They may have been nice with their hands, but at the same time, their footwork couldn't match him. So if you can match his footwork as, as well as offensively, um, keep up with him, at times dominate him, and if you catch him with the right shot, hurt him. That's it. It's really not that simple as far as um, game plans, what you have to do in order to effectively compete, dominate, and beat Lomachenko. If you are a great boxer and you have good footwork, you have a chance. Now, if you are a great boxer and have great footwork, that will make it a 50-50 fight. Now, the only reason why I would say it's probably uh, maybe 60-40, maybe even 55 45 you know what i'm saying um lomachenko is because of that that slight unknown aspect of can tio hang with his footwork because i'm telling you loma is going to dance the whole fight he's going to box we all know he's going to box but his movement in this fight is going to be not only pivotal but key now the key factor for tio 
is can he break the code? Can he keep up with it? Can he offset him? You know what I'm saying? When he circles this way, like I told y'all before, you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to counter his movements. If he moved this way, you gotta counter this way. But at the same time, protect yourself. Make sure that your guard is solid. You know what I'm saying? That your mind, this is really when your mind and your body really gotta be in sync as far as working together. This one makes um, Loma so dangerous because not only is hand-eye coordination, but it's foot coordination. It's one thing to have great movement, but to be coordinated in your movement is something, is something else. It's something we don't see in a large majority of fighters. You see good footwork, you see movement, but as far as excellent coordination in your movement, not wasting your movements and your energy, you don't see that. But you see that when you look at Loma and his fights. That's what that's what makes him stand out. Now, the fact that if he can do that for 12 rounds, that's what's going to give him the deciding factor moving forward. Because in that movement, he's making guys miss a lot. He may get caught, but a lot of those shots, man, he may be, you know, you know what I'm saying? He may be blocking a lot of those shots, you know what I'm saying? Dipping them off, coming up, offsetting. So you're not going to get that many clean shots. And the only way you're going to be able to get clean shots on Loma is if you can keep up with his movement. That's it. So moving ahead, going into the fight, man, I got T.O. in 10. I don't think it's going to go the distance because if the fight goes the distance, like I said in previous videos, man, just like I said, go back, like, comment, and subscribe. If the fight goes 12 rounds, unfortunately, I would have to say it's probably going to go to Loma. And it's that shit and it's that thought and notion that is on Tio's mind that he has to go in there and stop this guy early. Now that is a lot of pressure, you know what I mean? Instead of just going in there and boxing and just letting everything unfold, which to a degree you have to do, but at the same time, you know the business aspect of boxing, you know that you potentially have to get this guy out of there before 12. And if you don't get him out there before 12, you have to hurt him in a fight. The more times you hurt him, the better your chances look going forward if this fight goes the distance. If you hurt him and get a knockdown, you know what I'm saying? Should, especially if you luck up and get a couple of knockdowns, you know what I mean? If you get you a couple of 10, eight rounds, and then on top of that, man, like I said, you hurt him. Besides those knockdowns, that's, we'll get, that's what will probably get you the decision. Because you know out of respect, they probably gonna say, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna be a split decision, you know what I'm saying? And then that last judge probably is gonna be the deciding factor. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like that. Hopefully he can get a majority decision if it goes that way. But that all entails if he can basically, like I said, go in there and stick with him and hurt him. You know what I mean? A lot of people has Loma basically steamrolling them. And that's retarded. You know what I'm saying? Tio is a champion, man. You know what I mean? He's a great, he's a great young fighter, great young talent. So to say that Loma's just gonna go in there and just steamroll him and dominate him, you're not giving Tio enough credit, you know what I'm saying? And you truly don't know nothing about boxing, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna wrap this one up, man, because like I said, fight is tomorrow. There's nothing else, there's nothing else to be said, you know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna see these guys get in the ring, go in there and bang. And let's see who the victor is, because the victor goes to spoils, you know what I'm saying? All the titles, all the belts, and now if T.O. beats him, now you the pound for pound king. If you knock off the king, you sit on the throne. Real talk, live sports, your boy, holla at me, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, share these videos on whatever social platform, man. You know what I'm saying? Check us out um, on Facebook group, Real Talk Live. Follow me at our live sports on Twitter. Check us out, man. Fight, recap, tomorrow. Holla, peace, love. Stay focused. No more running.